Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about PlayStation 2, Nintendo 3DS, as well as Game Boy Color. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off talking about PlayStation 2 emulation on Android with Aether SX2. Aether SX2 just got a brand new update, and it hasn't hit the Google Play Store just yet. Now, as far as I know here, these new updates are only available in an alpha build. You can go on ahead and install the alpha. It's not a problem. It's just not supported by the developer. These are cutting edge changes, and there may be bugs. If you want to check them out, though, head to aethersx2.com archive. I'll leave a link in the description below. Once you're here, click on Alpha, and then you can download the latest APK. At the time of filming here, it's version 1561. This new Alpha build improves some things and also removes some things in the process. Resync with Upstream. Upstream is PCSX2, so this is a really good thing. The second item on the list, some people really might not like to hear this. Most people probably won't care, and a lot of people already knew this. Aether SX2 does not support 32-bit devices and it doesn't appear that they ever will. PCSX2 just recently dropped 32-bit support, and this item here kinda seals the deal for Aether SX2. So if you have a 32-bit device, don't get your hopes up that you'll ever be able to emulate PS2 games. And on a side note here, 32-bit devices really can't handle PS2 emulation at this point in time anyway. Third on the list here, a lot of people will like minor renderer improvements. And if you're a fan of macro buttons, Talrath has added those in. Uh, he's also fixed touchscreen layout and various file options in Arabic locales, re-enable EXT copy image on recent Mali drivers, and decompress DXT BPTC textures when not natively supported. Now, I don't know about you, but seeing Aether SX2 continually improve here and at a very fast pace is extremely awesome. Moving on now, and we're talking about Nintendo 3DS emulation on Android with Citra, just not the version of Citra that's available in the Google Play Store. This is Citra Enhanced Beta, and this is the fourth version of it. Citra Enhanced is a fork of Citra only available on GitHub, so I will leave a link to it in the description below. This new version was just released today and it has a couple of interesting integrations. So first up here is memory bug fixes. Uh, Gamer64 has also improved Mali GPU performance and bug fixes ported from Citra MMJ. They've also implemented expanded cutout mode option, emulation UI finished, so it looks a little bit better. Uh, UI redesigns, which also plays into the above point. Uh, game details dialog, implement in-app updater, which is a port from Dolphin MMJR2. This is a nice feature. You don't have to re-download it every time. You can just update it straight from the app. Fixed haptic feedback not being saved. And this one is interesting. Added a feature to add Citra DIR manually. So this kind of avoids or solves the scope storage issue. And last up here, remove Citra is running notification. So if you're trying to play 3DS games on Android, by default, I do recommend trying Citra from the Google Play Store. If that isn't cutting it for you, try Citra MMJ or even Citra Enhanced here, and hopefully one of those will be okay. Next up, we're still talking about 3DS emulation, but 3DS emulation on the Steam Deck. This one is a little bit interesting. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce this, so let me know in the comments below. Uh, but Mikaj here, it was a 3DS emulator that did close its doors back in 2020. However, on Twitter, it appears that Mikaj is back up and running. It has risen more or less from the ashes and on the Steam Deck. So recent tweets, this one is from March 18th, showing Legend of Zelda up and running. If I scroll down just a little bit on February 25th, we can see Ocarina of Time up and running on the Steam Deck. Now I have absolutely no idea what's going on here, but seeing a 3DS emulator running on the Steam Deck and apparently running pretty darn good is exciting. I will be paying attention to this one and seeing if there are any more development updates. Last up here, if you're a fan of Wario Land on the Game Boy, you're really gonna like this news. Wario Land Super Mario Land 3 has been colorized, all thanks to, I don't wanna butcher this name, but uh, Teruz? As far as I know here, Teruz uploaded this to ROM hacking, and apparently the ROM works with pretty much every single emulator out there and the actual Game Boy Color, but it won't work with the standard Game Boy. So it's a Game Boy Color only game. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. 
Let me know your thoughts on anything we talked about today in the comments below, whether it was Aether SX2, Citra Enhanced Beta 4, uh, the rise of Mikaj, as well as Wario Land in color. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state.